It's happy with the party's performance at the polls. The party is um, Gurule Gotlengwa. Uh, we're speaking to uh, my colleague again, Simpio Ngongwani, at uh, the, uh, the Rock in Pretoria. We are quite uh, positively uh, happy about the fact that we are making now strides towards um, growth. I mean, the results are a reflection of that. And if you look at the map there, you will be very clear that the white areas are the areas which have not been captured. And um, in the main, those would be IFP strongholds. And so um, that once those are in, we should be able to see a surge. And so we, it's good that that surge will come in on a very strong footing um, is already reflected. I am in the scoreboard um, now. We are well over the half mark in terms of accounting. Now, do you have a clear picture how the IFP will fare? Well, it, we can't preempt because the districts that are outstanding are actually quite big districts. Um, it's got a huge electorate that will be in those areas. So I'd say we should give it up until maybe 2 a.m. this morning, in the coming morning, um, that we'll know. But what I think is fundamentally important is that we're receiving these results on the backdrop, really, of some serious irregularities and concerns and shortcomings on the part of the IEC. And, in, and you know, in an absence of um, credible explanations insofar as the IEC is and on Tuesday night already, Prince Butelezi um, was alerted to the fact that people were being bussed in from um, Swaziland and Mozambique to come and vote into the country. We've alerted, we alerted the um, IEC to that effect um, and communication between Prince Butelezi and Mr. Mashinini took place. But what has subsequently happened on election day, the fact that you had ink, um, indelible ink rather, which was no longer indelible, you had a shortage of VEC um, C forms, you had shortage of ballot papers, um, voting stations not opening on time, the zip zip machine not being live and so on and that has called into into question the collective integrity of the vote um, because people will uh, are now have said to have um, voted twice or more and then the arrests are a testament to that and so this morning we submitted um, a memorandum to the IEC at the PLC meeting as the IFP um, and that has given now rise to an expression um, to the current um, investigation and the sampling taking place to determine the extent to which um, the prevalence of this double voting took place. The issue is, those impure viewers, is that we have brought the, these issues to the attention of the IEC time and time again and there's been no action. And our fundamental issue has always been that prevention is better than cure. It's useless to really afterwards want to speak about prosecution, whereas the systems, technical systems and expertise and capacity should be built into the system. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't... Yeah. We don't have much time, unfortunately, but before I let you go, uh, we've been getting reports of uh, a voter who's been shot uh, shot dead outside the voting stations. What more information do you have with regards to it? Um, we have been alerted to that. It seems as if um, whilst voters were interacting and um, uh, in, in some form or other, there was more than one party outside um, the place in question and somebody fired a shot and the IFP has lost a member. Um, we, will, we have issued a statement, but we'll be issuing a comprehensive statement tomorrow once all the facts are before us. And the police have come back to us with that, but we can't confirm that somebody was killed. All right, let's talk about the Democratic Alliance then. The DA has.